Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to one of the newer series that I've decided to make on this channel, which is mastering a certain champion within three days. And the champion that we are going to be trying to master in today's video is none other than Adam Warlock. You might be wondering why Adam Warlock? Well, he is one of the harder champions to play in the game. He has a lot of constraints when it comes to his buildup as well as his damage. And he's pretty much a perfect fit for this series. Also because he won the last pull that I actually made, but okay. So we're going to be spending three days trying to learn as well as master one of the best cosmic champions in the game. And I have no idea why they decided to drop him as a 7 star. Are they mad? But anyways, onto his abilities, which I already made a video covering this. And I will actually leave the link down in the description. But basically, just to summarize his abilities, he pretty much has a sovereignty counter thing where at the beginning of the counter, he gains an unblockable buff. At 10 hits, he gains a true damage buff. At 20 hits, he gains a precision buff. And at 30, he gains a fury buff. And then at 40, he pretty much ends the counter. And it goes on cooldown for a while. And then once it's ready again, he places an intimidate on the opponent. And pretty much the best way to start this counter is by hitting the opponent's block three times. And you pretty much have a short window to actually keep these buffs. Because after hitting the opponent, they'll actually attempt to go away just like this. And that is pretty much one of the harder things to manage with this character. Because his damage comes from that as well as his utility. You pretty much have to be as aggressive as possible in order to actually keep this counter going which is pretty much why he's considered one of the harder champions to master as well as why he's the champion that we're covering in today's video and so yeah now the goal for this video is well we pretty much have two goals the first one is without synergies and it's pretty much just to finish three realm of legends fights without getting hit a single time and without losing the counter early and the second goal that we are going to be setting is with synergies and for this one we'll actually have to go into the labyrinth and pretty much finish a whole fight without getting hit a single time and oh boy i can already tell that this is going to be a difficult task but nonetheless it will make me a better atom player and also it'll make for an interesting video so yeah but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy, and uh, yeah, let's start off with day one. But starting off with day one, what better place is there to go than Act 6 and fight off the test dummy Deadpool? He's pretty much a good showing for a battleground scenario. And unfortunately, I do know how to play Adam Warlock just a fair bit. But of course, starting off the match, you pretty much want the opponent to be blocking. And then you go in with a 4 hit combo. And then you dash back and then you try to intercept them. And then you repeat with a 4 hit combo once again. And then you dash back and then you try to hit them with a 5 piece combo. And then after that, immediately throw the SP1. And while your sovereignty counter is at 20, you pretty much inflict a stun debuff, which gives you an easy opening. And then you pretty much just go in, continue the combo, and then hopefully you end your sovereignty counter. And Deadpool just has to get a few hits in, which, oh my goodness. It doesn't happen once, it happens twice. And the only thing I can do is pretty much just look at him in disbelief. Bruh. And now moving over to the main testing dummy in the game, which is Winter Soldier. And the strategy I use here is almost the same. However, here we don't really use the special one. And the AI, of course, is pretty awkward and does some random things. However, I would say that this type of AI is better for Adam rather than the aggressive ones which can pretty much just intercept you immediately. But of course that's not the main objective, it's pretty much just to get a feel for the character as well as see how far we can go. It's pretty much just getting comfortable with the character so that on the following day that's when we can pretty much start with the challenge. And of course here I do mess up quite a little bit, but it's not a big deal since it's only day one. Weak, 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 weak. 
and that is pretty much it for day one no great accomplishments nothing crazy like that just a lot of getting comboed by the opponents but yeah <laughs> So it is currently day 2 and today we're gonna be trying to complete the first goal that we've set which is completing 3 Realm of Legends fights and then we'll pretty much just leave the next goal for tomorrow which is pretty much the hardest one. But this one might actually not be easy as well. Now if we go ahead and take a look at the quest, we have 3 fights which the first is Winter Soldier, the second is Captain Marvel and the third is Juggernaut. And Juggernaut pretty much has Unstoppable, meaning that it'll be a complete struggle to try and complete the Sovereignty Counter. So I'm not too sure about this one, boys. But nonetheless, let's actually go ahead and start over here. And here we go. Okay. Okay, he does back. Okay. And now he throws the... Oh, he's blocking. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. I think I'm gonna go for the SP3. Oh, nice. Alright, now we throw it. And this gives us a fury buff, meaning we can finish the... Whoa! Okay, this is try number two. Throw it. Okay, now the... Oh, we lost our power, okay. Are you gonna throw it? Oh, Ooh, that was close, that was close. And my Intimidate's gonna... Oh! Okay, this is try number three. Okay. Is it... Okay, he throws it this time. Wow, I did not expect this to take me more than one try. Okay, so far so good. Okay, let's throw this. Into the striker. Ooh, and look at the damage, man. Okay, he throws it. Push back. Okay. There's no way they're planning to give us this dude for free as a 7 star. I just don't understand, man. Okay, he's almost dead. Okay, this should do it. Woo! Let's go. Alright, that took more than one try, but hey, yeah, there was nothing I could really do. Okay, first fight down, and now two more. Okay, our first attempt here. Death back. Come on. Okay. Okay, the special three once again. And unfortunately, this is the worst part about not having him awakened. If the opponent hits the stasis pod, I can pretty much get stunned, and there'll pretty much be nothing I can do about it. But so far, this run is going well, and it is complete. Woo! And that only took a minute, and that was actually pretty good. But now, of course. Juggernaut. And I'm not sure how we're gonna do this, boys. This is gonna be difficult, probably. Unfortunately, we can't test him in Battlegrounds because he'll pretty much just get his buffs nullified. Oh. Okay. Alright, here I think we just wanna stun him. Because if he goes unstoppable, then... Okay, he's still blocking. Ah, here we go. Oh. And everything's off. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Starting the counter. And now the special three. He has one of the worst special threes I've ever seen, man. It's not that it's bad, it's just... Ooh! Oh, that was close. Oui. Oh. Please, please just... Okay. Uh, ooh, okay, we dexed that. Please, please! Ah! 
I think this is gonna be a very long fight, guys. Oh, he t Oh my- Okay, this is try number two, and I pretty much had to fight Winter Soldier and the other one again. Let's see how it goes this time. Okay. Whoop. Woo! And unfortunately, everything's gonna fall off. Damn it. Okay. Ugh, he threw it once more. Please! Okay. Somehow it reached. And he throws it again. Oh. Please stun him. Okay. Somehow this is going... Ah, let me not say anything, man. No, oh, he... Please. Uh... What? I don't think that counts, guys. Oh, come on, we were in the pod. Go back. Bro, you're into me. Okay. Ooh. And now we throw it. Please don't throw your special. Okay? Okay? Please don't throw it. Oh my... And gone. <laughs> Go back. Okay. Oh, so close. So close. <laughs> okay, I think this is try number three or something. Come on. And then we rush in. Come on, light. Oh no, he threw it. Ooh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was close. Don't throw it. Okay. Please. Okay. Please don't. Oh, he threw it. Oh my. Okay. Please. Okay. Somehow we got our fury buff. Okay. And now the special one, hopefully he gets stunned. Okay. And now we go in. Alright, that is some progress. Okay, he's not throwing his specials either. No. Ah! What am I supposed to do? And then the special two, please do some damage. Ooh, that was... Okay, that was good. <laughs> okay, parry that. Okay, so far so good. Uh-uh. Okay. And then the special two. And it didn't crit. Ah. Whoa! Special one. And it's gonna stun him. Okay, okay, please. Woo! We did it! <laughs> oh, and this took so many attempts, man. I had to go through the whole thing like four times to three times just so I can get this guy down and we actually didn't get hit a single time but of course it means we finally completed our objective for day two and the only thing that's actually left to do is to go to the labyrinth and win a fight but I'm pretty satisfied with the progress that we've made so far even though it kind of took a bunch of attempts but that is good nonetheless and that was day two So it is finally day three, meaning that the labyrinth is the place we're going today to complete the final goal that we've set for ourselves and to finally be known as the best Adam Warlock player, although that's probably a lie. And of course, we are going to be entering with a synergies team, and these are pretty much the only synergies he actually has in the game. It's not the best looking one, but eh. But now let us begin the quest and head over to Star-Lord, I think he'll be much easier to fight. 3.3 million health. But anyways, here we go. Okay, this is attempt number one. Oh, oh. Okay, let's act like that never happened. Whoa. Come on, okay. Oui. What? Oh my goodness, they can evade. Oh no. 
Okay, so far so good though. Okay, launch the special three. I have no idea why they're dropping this dude as a seven star. Oh my. Okay, try number three. And what I was saying was, there's no way they're planning to drop him as a seven star. Because if you think about how much damage he will be doing at rank three, nah, it just doesn't make sense, man. And this is only a rank three Adam Warlock. Okay, but of course we have to focus and not get hit. Throw in the striker. Woo, and look at the damage, man. There's no way. Okay, now we step back. <clears throat> and the special two. Woo, 50, oh my goodness. And he's already down to 75%. Wow. We. Woo, he even, oh my. Okay, this is the fourth attempt, and I think I'll actually have to put in the white magneto. And yeah, this is the new team. It probably won't help with the evade, but please, man, please. And here we go with attempt number three, four, I don't even remember, man. They're pretty much gonna be having him in the banquet special crystal thingy. And he will be joined by Diablo, as well as Sandman, Shocker, and Moondragon. I think there's also one more that I'm forgetting, but yeah, I kind of forgot about that one. Adam is pretty much the best pool you can get in there, in my opinion. Cause, just look man, this is at a 6 star rank 3 level, and just imagine how much bigger these numbers would be if he was a 7 star. Oui. Oh, you! Okay. Ooh. Double medium. Okay. Now we go in. Special 2. I think I'll have to time his evade properly with my striker. Ooh, and look at the numbers, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, he power drained. Okay, now we... Ooh. Woo! Ah! And yep, this definitely might take a few attempts. Stay back. Stay back. Okay. Striker. Please. Okay. And then we dash in. Throw it. Okay. And the special two. Oh, it didn't crit. Special two. Damn. And now we dash in. Oh. Please, bro, throw. Oh my goodness. Okay, please throw it. He's almost at a. Please. Woo. Oh my goodness. Please. Please just throw the thing. Oh my. Ah! The audacity. And then he proceeds to. Okay, that was that um and that's literally my facial expression right now man what okay please throw it okay please don't evade okay please throw it oh what? I'm stunned! Oh, okay. Okay, now we keep going in. Bro, look at the damage. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we throw the special three. Please throw it. Okay. And the striker, then the special two. Rah. Oh, I'm stunned. Okay, special two. Probably should have waited for the fury buff, but eh. Okay, into the striker. Okay, he's down to 38%.
to the special tool. What? Ah! So close. So close. What is going on, man? But I, I don't even know why he did that. Come on, dash back. Okay. Okay, the striker into a heavy attack. Please throw it. Okay. Okay, Wait. special two. Rough. Oh my. Okay, this is attempt number nine. Oh my goodness. Someone saved me from making this video, man. Who voted for Adam Warlock? Why? Okay, this is try number nine. The real one. Okay. What? Yo, yo. Okay. Striker. Okay. Woo. Oh, this might have been a okay. Woo. No! <laughs> Alright, so surprisingly the stasis pod is not a safe place. Oh, the constant stuns and the constant... Alright, let's actually boost up, man. I can't be suffering like this. Come on now. I think I only have three attempts left in me, guys. I've been here for a while. Okay. Please don't. Okay, he didn't stun me this time. We. Oui. What? That is horrible timing. Okay, at least we're in the pod. Oh, we're stunned. Ooh. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. So this is the final attempt, which is attempt number 14, and I'm pretty much here to talk over the rest of the thing, because after 14 attempts, I pretty much got too tired to even speak. Now after playing Adam Warlock for a while, I sort of did find ways to actually intercept the opponent, however I still do struggle a bit, because you pretty much need to have instant recognition or instant understanding in order to react to the AI as quick as possible, cause sometimes you might not expect to hit the opponent with an intercept, or you might fail to actually hit the opponent, and while you're trying to do your combo, then you get hit with a special attack. Now I did get a bit better at recognizing this, however this is only Labyrinth of Legends AI, and we all know the AI differs in many of the other sections in the game, and so it'll take a lot more practice in order to fully and truly master him. However, I do feel like now I do have a good grasp with him. Pause. His damage is insane and I can't wait to actually take him up to a higher rank or even pull him as a 7 star. But after 14 whole attempts, I'm pretty much gonna have to take a break from using this guy cause oh my goodness, it's tiring. But that's pretty much it from me, and I'll actually let you guys see the rest of the attempt. Good. 
Okay, he's down to 4%. And this might... Ah, nah, I don't think it's enough. Oh, let's go, boys, let's go. <laughs> oh, it took so many attempts. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we finally did it, man. Oh, my goodness. That took three minutes. In actuality, it took like three hours or something. Oh, that was horrible. Wow, I never want to do such a video again. And that concludes our journey with Adam Warlock. Oh my goodness, there was too much stress there, man. Well, I definitely did learn a lot. I definitely did suffer a lot too. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments who next I should make a video on. Make sure to join my Discord group. The link will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!